I would like to call to order the uh, Yukon City Council meeting, Yukon, Oklahoma, for December 3rd, 2013. If you would rise with me for the invocation by Pastor Scott Kinney from Trinity Baptist Church and our flag salute. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, we thank you again for the opportunity of uh, gathering here as free people to exercise your institution of government. Lord, I thank you for Yukon and Lord, the uh, blessings that uh, we have here, the people who serve us each day, night and day. Father, to protect us, to guide us, to, to help govern us, to continue to be a free, safe, and healthy and happy constituent. Father, uh, I pray tonight is uh, for those who sit in these uh, council seats. Lord, bless them, give them wisdom. And Father, we pray that as uh, we go into this holiday season, we remember that Jesus, you are the reason for the season. And Father, that if anyone doesn't know you personally, they might ask you to come into their life. Father, again, we thank you for this body that's gathered here tonight. Bless them. We pray this in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Call the roll, please. Smith? Here. Gerba? Here. Alberts? Here. McCarran? Here. Yonda? Here. This time it, we have uh, presentations and uh, proclamations. I understand we have one from the Oklahoma Municipal League. Mr. Couch would like to uh, do a 25-year service pin, and we'd like to call up uh, Mr. Ron Matthews. Hi, Ron. I'm, I'm Jim Couch. I'm the president of the Oklahoma Municipal League. My day job is with the city of Oklahoma City. And I want to congratulate you on your 25 years of public service. Um, you know, if you're 25 years someplace, it's kind of your career. You may have a job before you get here. You may have a, another job after you leave. But you're always going to be known as an employee of the, of the city of, of Utah. And I've always believed that public service is a very noble profession. I've dedicated my life to that. You've dedicated your life to that. And of course, being a police officer is, is even a special level on top of that because you're putting your life on line, on line every day for the citizens of Utah. And it's very much appreciated, I know, by, by other municipality people in the state, but particularly the Council of Yukon and the citizens of Utah. <coughs> and so, you know, 25 years back, if you think back, we're, we're talking back to, to 1988. And you, you think back, it was, a, it was not the best time in Oklahoma. It was just coming out of the, the oil bust of those days. And, banks were, were failing and it wasn't our best economic times. And, and uh, you come, you come has come a long way in the last 25 years and turned into a, quite a, a, a vibrant community. And I'm sure you've been a big part of that. We'll be around. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so on behalf of the Oklahoma Municipal League, I'd like to present you with a certificate and a pen. And again, congratulations on your 25 years. Congratulations. Speech, Ron. What? You haven't got to prepare speech? We're kind of waiting. You've had 20, 25 years to get ready for this. Right. Well, Mayor, real quick, all I, all I'd say is I've uh, went through four city managers and four police chiefs, and a lot of you fine people up there. And uh, I, like I told Mr. Couch here, th this city's in good hands. We're going forward, and I've enjoyed my time. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. Thank Ron. you. This is the uh, visitors' time of our council meeting. If we have any visitors, Yukon citizens, that would like to address the council on a non agenda item, we'd like to invent, invite you to uh, come forward. Do we have any visitors that would like to address the council? Seeing none, we will recess Yukon, as Yukon City Council reconvene as uh, Yukon Municipal Authority. Item 1A, the YMA consent docket. This item is placed on the agenda so the Yukon Municipal Authority, by unanimous consent, can designate those routine items they wish to be approved by one motion. If an item does not meet with the approval of all authority members, that item will be heard in regular order. 
The city manager recommends a motion to improve, approve item A, the minutes of the uh, regular meeting, November 9th, 19th, 2013, and payment of material claims in the amount of $587,403.04. Do I have a motion? So moved. <coughs> so moved. Second. Do we have any discussion? Do we have any discussion? Seeing none, call the roll, please. Alberts? Yes. Sherba? Yes. Yonda? Yes. <coughs> McCarran? Yes. Smith? Yes. At this time, we will adjourn as the YMA and reconvene as the Yukon City Council. Item one is the uh, consent docket. This item is placed on the agenda so the City Council, by unanimous consent, can designate those routine items they wish to be approved by one motion. If an item does not meet with the approval of all uh, council members, that item will be heard in regular order. The city manager recommends a motion that will approve item A, the minutes of the regular meeting of November 19th, 2013. B, payment of material claims in the amount of $203,141.64. C, designating the items on the attached list from the technology department as surplus and authorizing their sale, donation, or trade. D, the renewal of the existing water lease near Southwest 29th and Rockwell between the City of Yukon and Lean Art Resources, LLC, and Jerry Hignan at a variable rate based on the water production for a term, a term of 15 years. E, an expenditure of funds in the amount of $12,739 for Sunrise Splash Pad. Change Order 1 for upgraded materials is recommended by the Parks and Recreation Director. Item F setting the date for the regular council meeting for December 17, 2013, 7 p.m. in the council chambers of the Centennial Building, 12 South 5th Street. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Thank you. Do we have any discussion? Do we have any discussion? Call the roll, please. McCarran? Yes. Smith? Yes. Alberts? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Gerba? Yes. <clears throat> Uh, item two is reports of boards, commissions, and city officials. Library Board, Charlotte Novak, Chairman. We're very happy to be here tonight, and I would like first to introduce our board. If they will stand up, I will introduce each one of them. Ginger LaCroix. <laughs> Jeannie Riggs, Joyce Roman, Marguerite Albrecht, and of course you know our librarian, Sarah Scheman. She's an employee of yours. Uh, it's amazing to me to think about the beginning of our library when we started with a few ladies who circulated books among themselves, and it was the Franklin Reading Group, and then we went from there to the little building across the street and we were supported entirely by the Ladies Library Club. And I happened to be a member of the library club at that time. We bought the books, we paid the librarian, we paid the utilities, we did everything. And it is amazing to go now to our library. And if any of you haven't been out there, you need to go because it is a wonderful thing. And we want to thank all of you uh, Mr. Bottom and all of you city council members for everything that you have done for the library because it is really a wonderful place. And I would like to tell you a little bit about some of our statistics. I understand that men like statistics, so we're going to give you some tonight. <laughs> this is for the year of 2013 up through November 30th. We had 91,161 patrons through the door. That's an average of 350, 315 patrons a day. We had 262 in-library <coughs> programs for all ages. 5,137 500, 5, people attended those. We've done 52 outreach programs serving 6,232 people. This includes visit to schools to promote summer reading, book talks at the Gary Miller Canadian Valley Children's Justice Center, and outreach story programs at Chick-fil-A, Yukon Head Start, and First United Methodist Preschool. Currently, we own 40,066 
library materials of all types, books, audio books, videos, with a circulation of 109,844. We have access to 20,897 e-books and e-audios which have circulated 13,623 times. Now isn't that amazing to think we started with about 15 books and a few ladies that started this and we want to thank all of you for this because it is because of what you have done to help us that has made us as wonderful as we are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to personally just thank Ms. LaCroix for being my representative on the library board and she is, if you have not heard her tell a story, <laughs> then you need to make an appointment to do so. <laughs> Item three, consider approving an expenditure of funds in the amount of $37,000 for an engineering study by Utley and Associates as an independent <clears throat> flood investigation as recommended by the city manager. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Thank you. Do we have any discussion? Do we have any discussion? Call the roll, please. Smith? Yes. Yonda? Yes. Gerba? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Alberts? Yes. Item four is our city manager's report. These are information items only. Uh, events report is always fun this kind of uh, this time of year. I would remind you that this coming Saturday from 10 to noon at the uh, Dale Robertson Center is the mayor's Christmas party for kids. Um, it's also when we will uh, award the uh, or choose the best of the mayor's essay contest. That'll be done at 930 immediately prior to that. Uh, hope that you uh, hope that you will take the opportunity and go take your kids to the mayor's uh, Christmas party. Uh, sounds of the season the Oklahoma City Philharmonic will be at the uh, Fine Arts Center uh, of the Yukon Public Schools that begins at 730 uh, tickets are five dollars at all of the parks and recreation facilities and YMB branches uh, it's a really if you haven't had the opportunity to go to sounds of the season I encourage you to do so it's a beautiful evening and a wonderful time by all uh, finally, uh, Christmas in the Park has started, uh, and uh, going strong, I might add. It's absolutely beautiful with four and a half million lights. It covers over 100 acres, and there's over 365 uh, displays this year, uh, and that's up quite a lot from where it was. It runs through uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, that'll be our last night. I can tell you that Thursday, last Thursday, uh, after everybody had gorged themselves on turkey and dressing uh, for more, most of the day, we had 1,928 cars that went through uh, the Christmas in the Park uh, light display. I would also point out to you that in your packets, uh, there was a uh, report on street projects in particular. Uh, we are moving along nicely on those. Um, we will, you know, we're getting kind of iffy on the weather uh, this time of year, but we will keep moving forward on everything that has been approved. I would anticipate uh, that, that we will have completed all of our projects uh, certainly by May of uh, 2014. I think we'll be done. Uh, I wrote you some time ago concerning uh, a notice of violation that the city had received from the uh, Department, Oklahoma Department of Environmental Quality. I am happy to report to you that uh, due to the due to the work of Arnold and the Public Works Department as it relates to reclaiming our sewer lines in particular across town that that NOV has at least we have received verbal notification that that has been lifted. Uh, so that was uh, extremely good news. Uh, just as good a news was the fact that uh, our uh, we would have had it lifted sooner, except our account representative went to uh, uh, went out of country for three weeks, 
and wasn't here to, to write the letter. But we are very pleased uh, with that progress. Arnold, thank you very much for your work. Please pass that along to your staff. Appreciate it. Um, with that, um, I will end my remarks, Mayor, and stand ready for questions. I have one question. Did you say four and a half million lights? Four and a half million lights. Four and a half million lights. Wow. You got to get to the park. And the train ride is great. I want to meet who counted them. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's not here tonight, but, but Jeff's had to replace them with all of them. <laughs> Do we have any additional questions for our city manager? Seeing none, item five, new business. No new business. Item six, council discussion. Councilman McCarran. Wonderful time of the year, folks. Uh, I certainly uh, want to thank Scott uh, Kenny for coming tonight. I uh, enjoyed his words. Uh, very nice. Uh, special thanks to Ron Matthews, even though he stepped away. Uh, you know, I, I certainly uh, appreciate Ron and his 25 years that he spent out here and more than deserving. Really glad to see that. And I'm also glad to see this evening that we uh, funded a water study for primarily the north side of town over here to uh, alleviate and certainly shine a light on uh, a lot of problems that we've had up there and hopefully alleviate uh, some of the more serious ones uh, in the future. So I think that's a big step forward. Uh, and as I usually say, Yukon is a great place to be. So that's it for me, Ken. Thank you, sir. Councilman Gerba. I've got no comments this evening. What? Okay. No comments this evening. <laughs> Councilman Yanda. Um, I would just like to commend the Minister Alliance for an outstanding uh, community Thanksgiving service that we had last week and thank the mayor and the city manager for their encouraging words. And to all the people that were there and uh, gave toys, money, and uh, food for the, uh, the needs of our community. And let me encourage you as you go about your um, preparation for the Christmas holiday to remember that we have a lot of people in our community that uh, need our assistance and please remember them at this time. And shop Yukon. <laughs> Thank you. Councilman Alberts. Uh, no comments. My goodness, has the moon fallen? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> too much turkey. I mean, I'll see if I can pick up their slack. As Councilwoman Yonda mentioned, uh, the uh, Yukon Thanksgiving event at CCY was wonderful. I was honored to be able to speak, and I was honored to be able to follow our city manager who did overrun his time. <laughs> Not much. Remember that uh, weather is coming in Thursday, so get to Walmart and uh, get your eggs, eggs, milk, and bread. <laughs> Not sure why everybody wants to eat French toast during a storm, but that would probably be a time to go. <clears throat> I would like also to uh, see if we could put on, as an agenda item in an upcoming, upcoming uh, meeting a vote uh, that we would be able to, from uh, that day forward, be able to display in God We Trust here in our uh, council chambers. Uh, that is a uh, congressionally approved national motto. I'm not sure why we don't display it now, but I would like to get that on an agenda, if that would be possible, Mr. Shivers. And... Uh, I would, I would also say, um, and this is best said by Clark Griswold during this time of year, uh, we must remember the most enjoying traditions of the season are best enjoyed in the warm embrace of kith and kin. This tree of the thimble <laughs> of the spirit of the Griswold family Christmas. So do not forget, folks, not just your blood family. Uh, don't forget your neighbors, uh, members of your church, members of your different organizations you might be a part of that are going to be in, uh, in need. Um, give of uh, gifts, give of your time, uh, give of your heart, but remember the season. Uh, no further discussion. We'll move on to item seven. Consider a motion to recess as the Yukon City Council and convene into executive session for discussion of the employment of the city manager as provided uh, for in 25 OS 2003, section 307B1. Do I have a motion? So moved. Yeah. 
Second. One way or another. Do we have any discussion? Any discussion? Seeing none, we will, I believe, call the roll, sir. Yonda? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Smith? Yes. Albert? Yes. Gerba? Yes. All right, we'll adjourn to executive session. See you, Robbie. See you later. <coughs> okay, is that now? Read item eight. And we vote. Okay, read it, vote. Item eight on the agenda is to consider a motion to adjourn from executive session and reconvene as a Yukon City Council. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Do we have any discussion? Any discussion? Seeing none, call the roll, please. McCarran? Yes. Gerba? Yes. Smith? Yes. Alberts? Yes. Yonda? Yes. I would now like to read the minutes of the executive session. While in executive session, only items on the agenda were discussed, no action was taken, and no votes were cast. Item 9. Consider a motion to amend the terms of the city manager's employment contract. Do I have a motion? Um, I'd like to make a motion to uh, amend the uh, city manager's contract um, to include a salary increase of $5,000. A second. Do we have any discussion? No one wants to fire him. All right, then. Not tonight. <laughs> See, no, no <laughs> further discussion. <laughs> Not before the holidays. <laughs> yeah. Not before Christmas. Seeing no discussion, call the roll, please. Gerba? Yes. Albert? Yes. Smith? Yes. Yonda? Yes. McCarran? Yes. This time I'd like to entertain a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. Well, that was quick. We're adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>